During this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can change and edit your background on your different pages. Now, there are many different things we can do when it comes to customizing our background. We can have images, we can have videos, and we can even edit our images right inside of InstaBuilder. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that throughout this entire video. Okay, so here I am. I am using one of the templates that was provided to me from InstaBuilder. And let's say that I want to edit this background image here. Maybe I want to change it. Maybe I want to resize it. Or maybe I just want to put something completely different. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the gear symbol up here at the top. And when that drops down, we are going to go to page settings. And that's going to open up our different options on the right hand side of the page here. And the bottom three that we can see here is background color, background image, and background video. Now for the background color, we can see that this is going to be used if you don't want to use an image. Maybe you want just a solid color as your background. Or in my case, if you're using an image that does not cover the entire page, like this one here, we can still see some of the background back here of a default flat color. And this is where we can adjust that. So I can make this, you know, whatever color I want to make it, or I can just keep it as default which is what I prefer to do in this case. So I'm going to click go back here. Now for the background image, as we can see, I already have an image uploaded here. There's a few things we can do. We can browse the preloaded images. We can search for images on the web, or we can upload our own image. So I'm going to click on actions here. And for a pre-made pattern, I'm going to click here on pre-made pattern. And we can kind of browse through here. And we can see all the different images that are available to us from InstaBuilder 2.0. All these have been pre-uploaded for our use. So we can click through all of these and try to find something that we like, okay? So let's say I like that one there. I can hit back. Now if we scroll down a little bit more for our image style, we can have it normal, we can have it tiled. Maybe you wanna have it tiled if you have some kind of you know pattern that is exactly the same, you can tile it. Then you can tile it horizontally or tile it vertically. I'm gonna keep mine normal. Then you can adjust the position of your image. Right now, mine is at the left top. We can make it the left bottom. We can make it the left center. Same thing for the right side and same thing for the center, center top. Have it center, center, for example. I'm going to put mine back on the left top. Next up, we can have this scrolling or fixed. That means if it's fixed and you scroll down the web page, the image is going to stay there. If you have it scroll, that means when you go down the, scroll down the page, the image is going to kind of scroll with you, okay? And then at the very bottom here, we have the background image size. So we can kind of adjust this and make it as big as the entire page if you want to. Or you can kind of shrink it so your opt-in box kind of fits in the middle in between them there, just like that. Now, let's say you did not like any of the pre-made images that they have to offer on InstaBuilder. That's no problem. We can go to search image here and a little search box is going to pop up. And then you can just type in anything of what you're looking for as your background. So for example, let's say that I am looking for a brick wall, for example. I can type in brick and hit go and kind of see what images pop up here. So we can see that we have about eight images here of bricks. I can load more images if I want to. And it's going to bring me some more brick images. But let's say I like this one here. So I'm just going to click on use image. It's going to start downloading the image for me. And it's going to automatically import that image into InstaBuilder and apply it to my page. That's pretty sweet, right? And of course, I have the same options down here. I can tile it. I can change the size of the image however I would like. And last but not least, of course, we can go to Actions one more time. And we can upload our very own image using the WordPress uploader. Okay, now let's say I wanted to actually edit this image right here inside of InstaBuilder. Well, let me go ahead and change this back to something where we can have some texture here so we can see, okay, I'm gonna choose that one again. And then I'm gonna click on edit. And this is gonna pop up with an editor right inside of InstaBuilder. Now you do have to link your InstaBuilder with an outside program to use this. If you aren't familiar with how to do that, please go back and watch the settings video and I cover exactly how to do that. And that program that we're using is called Avery. And like I said, we configure those settings inside of our InstaBuilder settings. So once the image is loaded here, we have all the different options that any photo editor would have. We can change colors, we can add effects, we can add stickers, we can enhance it, all these different things. If you want to draw on it, for example, 
I can draw on just like that. You have to excuse me, I'm not a graphic designer, so please bear with me. If we click on stickers, we can add a maybe we can, we can add a hat for example. Let's add a hat to the girl here. Then we click on apply, and now she's wearing a hat. We can add effects. Okay, so let's go with that there. Click on apply, and then when we're done, we just click on save. And InstaBuilder is going to automatically apply that to our page. Now we can click on the X up here, and we now have our new background applied to our landing page. That's pretty cool, right? Well, what if you don't want to use an image? What if you want to use a video? Well, we can do that as well. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to remove this image, actually, so we have nothing here. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go to background video. I went over here to YouTube, and I went ahead, and I copied this video URL here of this beach with the tree blowing in the wind and the water going. I copied that. We're going to head over here. We're going to paste the URL inside of that box there. I'm going to mute the video sound. That's completely up to you, but I don't want any sound on my video. And I am going to keep my video on loop. And that just means that you want the video to keep repeating over and over. And then you have the option to display the video controls if you want to. Now in the preview here, you're not going to see the video. But what we can do is we can save this. Then we can click on the eye up here to preview our page. And then we can see the video in the background. Just like that there. That's pretty cool, right? A live video in the background. Now make sure when you have a video, make sure your video doesn't have any annotations like these here. Now live video backgrounds like this here are becoming very popular, so I can assure you that this is a feature that you definitely want to check out. And that's just how simple it is to add a video to your background or to change the current background that your website has. Again, you can choose one of the pre-made patterns that InstaBuilder has built in here. You can use the search function to search all these different images across the web and find one that fits your needs, or you can upload your own image.